good community. I am back again. <laughs> it's been another long night. My father did everything in his power not to go to sleep. Does not matter that I gave him Ativan. Does not matter that I gave him morphine. Does not matter that when it was time for his next dose of Ativan and morphine, I gave him that. And he was fighting it. Everything that he could talk about under the sun, which he's no longer making a lot of sense, he talked about. He wanted a hot chocolate quad. No idea what a hot chocolate quad is. He ordered three of them. So I got him a hot chocolate. And by the time he yelled at me that I ordered his hot chocolate quad and he still hasn't gotten it, I said, it's right here. I don't want it now, it's cold. <sighs> so, anyway. I uh, finally got him to sleep about 2 o'clock, and about 4 o'clock we were up again. And I just want to point out again that our favorite little cardinal is back. Let me zoom in on her. Him. And some of you may know what the cardinal represents. Some of you may not. Sorry, I'm little shaky. Um, the cardinal is supposed to represent a loved one. Uh, he just flew away. A loved one that has passed away. Some of you may know that I had a sister that passed away in 2003. My sister has been here. And since my sister has been here, I've been seeing the Cardinal every day. Butterflies also represent that. And as you guys know, I've been filming that beautiful butterfly. And I saw the butterfly again this morning out front. Don't know if it's the same butterfly, but saw him again this morning. I saw a butterfly again this morning out front. And we also have another little visitor on the porch today. Yes, we get lots of little visitors around here. We got a little lizard climbing on the screen inside the porch. Hey, bye lizard. Bye lizard. <laughs> so if nothing else, we got a lot of little creatures crittering around here. Critters crittering around here. But the interesting thing is the cardinal and the fact that I know my sister is here. Good morning, everybody. It's a really nice, bright, sunny morning. I probably won't get out too much, but it's real nice outside. Um, here, I'll let you see out the window. How's that? And I did get the front room as clean as I can. There's still got Megan stuff there. She still needs to go through it, but we have majority of the floor showing a lot of stuff is in storage now. I got this chair that I'm probably going to uh, put on Craigslist or offer up or something because um, nobody's using it and it doesn't really fit in with our decor. But um, yeah, I'm still working on it, still doing stuff. Val, um, I don't know what she's doing. I know she had a rough night last night, so let's see how Okay, that's so Val's. Um, necklace came in and this is the one that we we're going to put Bootsy's ashes in. I'll get it out of the bag because I don't know if you could see how well you could see it. But um, it has a little kit here for putting ashes in. So that is what I'm going to be doing and I will be mailing that to Val and so that she has that tomorrow. Not tomorrow but probably Thursday. So yeah. Okay so this is the necklace it's got a little screw top and it is hollow so and it comes with a with a little spoon and a little paper funnel and uh, 
little screwdriver to, to uh, I would assume to tighten this down as much as possible and the chain is separate it's all made out of stainless steel and this is such a funny shape I'm gonna figure out a way to hold on to it okay so this is my setup that I uh, figured out being the woodworker that I am I'm just gonna use a clamp that's gonna hold that pretty well I have well it's kind of a paper tin paper kind of funnel and I need to open it up a little it's got an itty bitty hole at the bottom I may have to open that up a little so there's that and this is Gucci's ashes it has this spoon so I don't actually handle the ashes Sure, I don't spill any. Yeah, I think I need to open this hole up just a little. Because it's not coming out at all. So, a pair of scissors. pin here to tamp it down. screwdriver and make sure that it's and there it is uh, so I'm not gonna put Bootsy's uh, ashes in the urn quite yet because Val would like to uh, have it engraved which I think would be nice and there's a, a couple of places I can take it to so but I don't want to send them a, an urn with ashes in it so uh, uh, take a look. Things remembered. I think it's in the mall or something like that. You get her name put on it and, and such. But I'll get this in the mail to uh, Val tomorrow morning. Okay, so it came in this really nice uh, jewelry box and it says in loving memory. Got that all set up and ready to go to Val. idea how much I taped today or what I taped today or anything. <laughs> um, things are starting to just blur together now. Um, I did sleep a lot today. I had to trick Pa into taking his pills this morning. He no longer wants to take any medication. Um, he thinks the medication is prolonging his life. And he is ready to go. And he doesn't want the meds anymore. So hospice says don't force him. When he's in enough pain, he will ask for them. So at that point, um, we will be able to give him the meds. 
hospice is going to um, get us liquid morphine. It's called something different when it's liquid, but I don't remember the name of it. So that we can have it on hand um, for these types of situations. But, um, other than that, um, that's pretty much all I have to update. My Aunt Barbara made it in today. Karina and Natalie are back from the hospital. My great-nephew's surgery went well. Um, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, what little bit I did do, and whatever Kevin ended up doing over there in California. I'm missing him desperately right now. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, all that happy crappy stuff, and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! Bugs flying around me. Bye! <laughs>